Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Parker. And today I'm going to show you how to do stage makeup to make a cut on someone's face. So we're going to start with clean hands. I've already washed them. And I've also sprayed his face with the barrier spray by Mayron. And we're going to do it right here. So that's where I've sprayed. All right. So the products I'm going to use are the nose and scar wax by Ben Nye. The Translucent Powder and Fair by Ben Nye. Spirit Gum, Ben Nye. The Bruise and Abrasions Wheel. Dark Blood. A little bit of alcohol. And Petroleum Jelly. So a lot of it I've already got here on this plate. So first, we're gonna start with the spirit gum. And you just take it out and you're gonna place it where you're gonna put this, the cut on someone's face just to put an adhesive down before you put the wax down. And next is the petroleum jelly. So you just put a little tiny bit on your fingers just to prevent them from sticking to the wax. And that's all that that is for. And then I'm gonna take my scar wax. I just scooped it out with this little handle from one of my brushes. And you're gonna make it into the shape of the cut that you want. And then you're just gonna place it down right where you put the spirit gum down. And now the spirit gum has kind of gotten tacky on the face while it's sat there. And then just use your fingers to kind of blend the edges down, but you're gonna do more blending in a second. All right, so next, I'm gonna take the end of one of the brushes and I'm going to start blending the edges down just like this so that it kind of blends into the skin. Okay, so I hope you can see that. And you're gonna do that around the entire thing on all the edges and just blend it out. And also you're going to kind of rough up the top with this process so it'll be more realistic, like if you have an actual cut on your face. And then if you think you have a little bit too much of the wax, you can just use that to remove a little bit of it. Like I had a little bit too much on one end that I just didn't really like there. All right, so there's just the blending of that with the brush. So next I'm gonna use the stipple sponge that is the Ben Nye Stipple Sponge, and I have a little bit of that translucent powder right there. And I'm gonna grab some of that on my sponge, just a little tiny bit, and start blending the edges a little bit more into the skin. And using the Stipple Sponge will kind of make it, again, more realistic looking and have more of a 3D effect on the skin. Okay. 
So next I'm gonna take one of the little sponges, a little wedge, and I've already grabbed some of the red and the purple out of this bruise wheel on a little spatula because I don't wanna keep dipping a brush back in there and I don't wanna cross contaminate the makeup. So I'm just gonna grab a little sponge and on one corner, I'm gonna start with the red. And just go around the entire edge of it. And with this, you're gonna make it look like you just got this wound and then it's a little bit inflamed on the face. And just keep doing that around the edges until you kind of think that it looks good and you can't see the transition from the wax to the face is really what a lot of this is for also. And then you're gonna do basically the same thing with the purple and make it look kind of bruised and with the other corner so that if you need to go back and use the red you're not mixing with two colors so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that purple on my wedge and just kind of blend that in with the red also to make it look like you have a bruise there And this is for you to just decide how much of the color that you would like. It's all just to the designer's choice, really, of what they think looks the best. show like where the little lines are since you are using the corner you don't want to have little lines everywhere so you do want to make sure that it's all blended make sure you get since we did do so much texturing make sure that you do get into all the little ridges and crevices in the face So that's really the amount that I like. You can always go back later once you have put the blood and everything and see if that's how much you like and whatnot. So. Next, I'm going to take this Q-tip. I just broke the other tip off so that I had like more of a sharper edge. And I'm going to actually make the line of the cut where the blood would actually be coming out. So you just kind of scoop it out with this. gonna make it look like your skin is actually split and again this is to the designer how deep that they want it how wide and everything they really like and then I just kind of take it and I, I like to kind of pinch it a little bit back together all right, so I'm gonna take the, the red and the purple again and kind of blend a little bit inside of this. Along the edges, because you are gonna put the blood in there, so you don't have to get all the way down because it will get covered up by the blood anyways. 
also just up on the tops is really what we care about here. And you can take that sponge to kind of push the edges back together and whatnot. Just to kind of get the look that is good for you. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used at the beginning to blend the edges and I'm gonna use the bristles side. And I have a little bit of that fake blood right there now. And I'm gonna take just a small amount, you see there, and start running it along the edge. And this little cut. I do like to take the more that I put, I like to start getting more of like almost a little drop on there so that you get a more realistic effect of blood actually running through it. And just dot it all on there. Don't just drag your whole brush. Just kind of guide where it is falling, basically. And you can take it along the edges. It's really up to you. You can even do a little bit of a splatter on it. It's totally up to you. Okay. Now I am gonna take a little bit more of the blood and the alcohol and I'll show you why I have the alcohol. All right, so I got a little bit more blood right here, and I put a tiny bit of the alcohol in the cap here just so it's easier for me to show you. And I'm gonna take another Q-tip, just break the end off, make it easier for myself to use. Okay. And I'm going to just pour a little bit of the alcohol right there. and mix it with the blood and it will start to coagulate in there. Okay, so now you just take that. Now it's a little bit more clumpy and a little more textured. All right. And then at the end, I kind of just like to take a little bit of the blood and kind of have it run down just to get the effect that it is a fresh wound so it's kind of running down the end like that and that's pretty much it and that's the final product right there and then also for the removal process we have some cold cream that's going to initially remove it after you I'm going to probably scrape it off with a q-tip or something and then use this to get the stage makeup off and then next you're going to cleanse I like to use the purity face wash by philosophy I think that works really well and then you're going to tone just to get any extra makeup out of the pores and this is what I prefer is a Neutrogena but you can use whatever toner works best for you and then similarly I have the Neutrogena moisturizer just since that's a lot of steps and you want to add moisture back into your face so thank you for watching i hope that you learned a little bit here on how to do a little cut on someone's face and yeah hope you enjoyed